and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Well, my YouTube channel, but YouTube it's channel. beginning to turn into our YouTube channel. Because I'm requested a lot. <coughs> so He's she, never been requested, but it is nice to have him on as well because it's good to get his opinion as well as mine on I'm things. Because I'm the one doing everything. That's a whole other video. <laughs> Don't get me started. We've had a long day. We've had a long day snapping at each other about different things. Basically, we've been applying to schools snap. today. Um, I don't snap. She nags. Um, less, less, less. Apparently, I'm only, but if someone nags, then obviously the person who's Why am I nagging? Anyway. Exactly. Keep it rolling. Let's keep the. the yeah. The, this isn't why we've come on to talk. We haven't come on to have an argument yeah. on camera. We've yeah. actually come on today to talk about opening a bank account in Portugal. Mm -hmm. um, so, in this video today, we're going to talk about the bank that we opened an account with and why, mm -hmm. um, and the whole process of opening a bank account in Portugal and what it was like, how long it took, mm -hmm. how frustrating it was, mm -hmm. um, and that kind of thing. So we mm -hmm. opened a joint account with <clears throat> Millennium... BCP. I don't know what the BCP stands for. Millennium Bank Corporate. I reckon it's Bank Corporation of Portugal, something like that. That sounds all right. So, yeah, so we opened a bank account with Millennium BCP, and the reason we opened a bank account with them was because Marlon got some advice. So the lady who's helping us with our uh, D7 and our visa application, she said that all of their online banking is in English. They've got an English like portal and stuff on your phone, and she recommended them. Uh, and that was pretty much uh, me on my way to Millennium BCP to open an account, really. That was the only... Um, and also you see them everywhere on every high street and they're quite yeah. popular. Yeah, it's, like, it's like, I suppose Barclays are the equivalent in the UK. Yeah. So the process of opening a bank account was mm -hmm. that initially you you went into Millennium BCP mm -hmm. um, and inquired about what it is that we need to open a bank account. So I'll let you say... Yes, yeah, so I just went into the branch and said, I want to open an account, please. <laughs> um, and he said, you need to go and get a proof of ID... Um, Which can proof, be your passport, yeah. driver's license, yeah. okay. uh, proof of income, like pay slip, or um, if you're self-employed, you need to show proof that you're a director of the business. Um, what about pay slips? Yeah, pay slips if you're oh employed. Employed. Okay. Um, or, but if you're self-employed and you pay yourself PAOA, then that would also qualify. Proof of address, um, because we hadn't moved into our uh, um, apartment yet didn't have a Portuguese address or any proof of a Portuguese address when we were staying in an Airbnb. Um, so we used our UK address. So we had like um, an electrical statement, um, electric a gas bill. gas bill or something from the UK. And so we um, toodled on in. Toodled. And, and obviously... <laughs> we toodled on in. You toodled on in. Obviously... We toodled on in. Um, if you're opening a joint account, you both need to have it. So it's times two. So I had to get someone organised and get um, all the paperwork together. And then we walked on into the branch and said, we want to open an account, please. <laughs> so we toodled in with that, in, with those documents, right? Mm. Um, so I, you know what? We've been to the bank so many times. I've lost I, track. I've lost track. And the poor kids, they've been with us every single time. Which so you, as you can imagine, yeah. it's not an easy ride and it's never mm. quiet when we're in the bank. But we went in with all our documents and stuff. Mm -hmm. And no, sorry, that was the first business. Can I just ex explain one thing? Yeah. So when you go into the bank, you have to get a ticket. Yes. Um, so when the first time I went in, he said, make sure you come back early in the morning. And we didn't actually do that. We went in late again the yeah. next day. And you get a ticket and you kind of have to wait around a bit. It's a lot of waiting. Um, the, uh, lot. This is this is the branch in central Kashkai, so maybe the other branches aren't as busy. Yeah. Um, but then you get a ticket and you kind of wait your turn and go early because it takes them a, a few hours to open the account. Yeah, so that's one of our top tips. Mm. If you're going to go and open a bank account, go in the morning when it's less busy. The, the guy thing. in the branch even told us that. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll come on to that as well, why he was saying that to us, because mm -hmm. on one of our other visits... But, um, yes, yeah, so you pull a ticket and so the, your initial visit was when you went to find out what we needed. Yeah. And then your... Second visit. Was our, sorry, our second, second visit, visit with was the kids with the kids to again. To open the account. To open the account. And it took up to about, I'd say about three, nearly three hours. I think it was in there a good three hours. Yeah. Just but if you, it included in that time was when we was waiting to be seen. Yeah. And then when you are seen, it's they fill in the application with you there, going through your lot documents. Of a lot of stuff Loads to sign. Loads of paperwork. No, that one weren't to sign. Oh, sorry. That was just to apply. Yeah. He had to take copies of a lot of paperwork. Copies of stuff, take everything mm. in. And then he took it all. We done their application about three hours later. Yep. Several trips to the loo with the kids. 
going yeah. to get them a snack, going yeah. to do this, that and the other, whilst one of us remained in the bank. Mm-hmm. Um, we done that, didn't we? Yeah. It was done. Yep, yeah, done. So our application submitted. was submitted. To head then, office. Oh, yeah, is that what it goes? Yeah. And then, um, and then the next day we got an email. Email or phone call? It was the same day, actually. We got an oh, email. Oh, that say, afternoon? Yeah, that afternoon. To say that was it the same day? Because we were no, there for hours. It was the next day. Yeah, it was the next day. To say that the account had been declined. Great. Uh, because we're self-employed and they wanted to see proof that we were directors, um, um, official proof. And I was just trying to say to him to go on HMRC's website. And, and to go on Company's House. Company's House, sorry. But that wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. So I had to get my accountant to just, there was a form, I can't, sorry, I can't remember the exact form um, that my accountant But we can find out if you needed to know what that form yeah. was if you're self-employed, yeah, if yeah. that helps. And then my accountant just said, it shows, you know, who's equal uh, directorship. Um, and then I submit that off and then he resubmitted it. And <clears> a few hours later, we had... Yeah, so the, that same day. Yeah. The they contacted news. us and said that we'd been accepted for um, an account with them, which was great. Um, like it's good news. I mean, I'm giving you my money. Yeah. Ridiculous. They charge anyway. you for different things as well. So yeah. watch out and be careful of what yeah. they charge you but for. They, but generally, he was a really good guy. I really liked him. Really helpful. I've got to say, the guy, Miguel, who served yeah. us, was amazing. Yeah. Um, so we went, once we got approved... Can I add one more thing to that? <laughs> You've got to put your hands up when you want I to talk. I opened the account with one guy. And then halfway through, he left the branch to another branch. <laughs> and so I had to then start dealing with a new guy who kind of just picked up the pieces. I felt sorry for him. Is that but Miguel? He was great. Miguel. Yeah. Miguel um, yeah. The other guy just submitted it and then moved branch. So I had that hole. And I said, can't I stick with the original person? They said, no, he's in a different branch. A bit backwards, if you ask me. But anyway, <laughs> sorry. But that's... You don't... I don't expect it to be easy. So I suppose... Because mm. if you set yourself up for that, it's going to be quite hard or a difficult task. Then when things go kind of wrong or yeah. it doesn't go right, you can just go, okay, fine. Yeah. But um, so we got accepted for it, and then we had to go in the next day and then sign everything. Yes. And that probably that appointment was probably over an hour as well. So again, the poor kids were with us, yeah. wow. and it was just we continuous signing. Yeah, we've done a lot. Signing this, signing that, signing, signing this, that. signing that, yeah. and getting it. You know, now that once it was approved, then it's signing it, it's get it to go through, mm. and then we've got our bank details, um, and we needed a card, a bank card for our. Um, account a debit card yeah so to get that he was like right I'm going to order that for you and that will arrive in a week's time to your in- UK to your UK address. address and we were like but we don't live in the UK anymore we live here yeah and he was like um it's because we joined the bank with our UK address because we didn't have one here yet um but for a fee you can have euros. was it each or all together I think each to Ten have the cards each. delivered to the, to the branch a lot. I think it was each yeah to have it delivered to the branch, which we had to accept, and that took a week. So the card was delivered to the branch, and then we actually went and picked up our cards today, didn't we? But we went yesterday to pick up our <laughs> cards, but we went too late again, and he said he won't be able to do all the stuff that needs to be done, so to come back again tomorrow, yeah, I was had to bite my tongue. Someone said to me, it's poor Yeah, tomorrow. Marlon gets really miserable and really moany. Like, you try and sit in a in a, in a No, but we, no, we had... Three kids. Okay, we, we, we got to the bank yesterday and we did sit, we took our ticket and we were sitting down and we were waiting. And then, then the guy came over. And when we say late, I think it was about three o'clock. It was about yeah, three o'clock? Yeah, but the bank closes at half three. Yeah. No, no, no. It wasn't three o'clock. Because he had to go for his lunch. So it, oh, was, yeah. it, well, it wasn't three o'clock. It was about 12 o'clock. Yeah, but he just said come back tomorrow. Yeah, and it was 12 o'clock. So, you know, that's quite early still in the day, but it was midday. And he came, he saw us sitting and waiting mm. and he came over and he said to us, look guys, um, have you come to collect your cards? And I was like, yeah, can we just grab them? Thinking we just grab yeah. them and leave. <laughs> and he was like, no, 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 you have to sign some more yeah, things. there was a ton of stuff Do to some sign. more things. And he was like, can you come back tomorrow? And we were like, and he got all stroppy, miserable, moody, this is why I don't use the, the normal... Anyway, and I was just like, yeah, sure, that's fine. And he was like, come at 10 o'clock because that's when it's less busy and that's the time to always come to the bank if you've got an issue or you want to talk to someone about something because mm-hmm. it's less busy. Um, and he was going on his lunch, so he was like, he won't and be able Portuguese to see lunch, us. So that's probably like three hours. They have a lunch break over here, which yeah. is good. Yeah, um, And then, so we went back today. We went at quarter past 10. We still had to wait. But, yeah, but what it was, was Miguel knew that we were waiting. So as soon as he finished with the person he was dealing with, he saw us straight away. Yeah, so with our ticket, we could have been seen much later on. But because he knew while we were there and he told us to come back, 
He saw us. He gave us our cards. We had to do a bit more signing. We had to change our pins. So yeah. he showed us how to change our yeah. pins. Yeah, he showed us how to use our cards, change the pins. Mm. That that probably took about an hour today. Transfer some money into a savings account. Yeah. We opened up an investment account. Yeah. Just little things that you just can't do, I don't think, like if you can't speak the language. Yeah. And we just kind of talked to abroad. He was, he was great, actually. Like, See? Made the, made I told the, you. you know I what? think he was I lovely. I am an advocate of everything online. I love Revolut. I'm a big Revolut fan. You can do everything online. Revolut is like, another banking. I love them. Bank. But it's a long story, but I can't use them here. And basically, <laughs> I'm now like, actually, it's quite nice. It's quite old old school to like sit with your bank guy and you've got a contact at the bank you can email and he helped us out when he was in the UK we needed some stuff for our D7 yeah. he was just emailing it across to me you could never do that with an online bank yeah so, he, he's like more direct so yeah, imagine so if nice. we're in the UK and we needed a statement to prove our bank we'd opened a bank yeah. account yeah. imagine we just emailed him it's and nice he emailed us consistency like of a person yeah it was really good so when you get your card before you get your card they, they text you over um, like a a number yeah. and then they also email you a number so no, when email you your <coughs> user id your user id and text you your password yeah so you've got two forms of two different things that you need when you're accessing your bank account <clears throat> and you need to have those on you um and yeah i think that's it, that was it. yeah we've got a card today we're that's now today. up and running we can also use mb way MB which, way, is a, which is like an app on your phone which you can touch which is linked to your bank you can also draw money out of the machine so if you if that's you mad I've never used that before looking forward to that that's yeah. a bit of tech for me so you too. don't need your actual card if you've it's got your phone it's called MB way you and you can pay all your money. bills with it it's like a, a modern kind of chip based uh, contactless but I've only ever seen it in Portugal um, so yeah. we've got that um, and it feels good to be I feel like we've got that like I feel like we're natives now because we can yeah. we've been using our UK cards for everything it's been a nightmare mm. we're drawing out cash the exchange rate and that yeah so we're just like um, we've got our official I haven't used my card yet but I'm, I'm really, really excited to use Me it too. Me but too. I did try to pay a bill online we got our first bill I, I couldn't find it I, right, I'm trying to navigate <sighs> my way around the app so I'm trying to play around with the app to work out how it works mm -hmm. But I couldn't find the bank details from the company. I've just got lost. So I haven't managed to pay a bill yet or use my card yet, but I'm pretty sure. I'm purposely not That'll get cha-ching, 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 I want her to just control all of the banking stuff. So I, I, I don't I'm better with money than Marlon is. Uh, he spends. I spend, but I have a cut-off point. But I earn. I earn. True. Um, but he earns more. Um, <laughs> and he Thank you. <laughs> But I have well, a cut-off point, he yeah, doesn't. Anyway, let's not get into that. But yeah, anyway, so that is information on basically opening a bank account. Millennial and, BCP. And the stuff that you need is your ID, passport, driving licence. Yeah. You need your pay proof slips. Of, the proof of income. Proof of income. That's the main thing, I think, for them. Yeah. Do you have an income? That was the main thing, yeah. And your address. So mm. if you've got a Portuguese address, great. Yeah. If it's UK one, you and can use NIF, the UK one. And your NIF number. You oh, you need your NIF number? Yeah, you need your NIF number. We had that. You need a NIF number for everything in Portugal. Without that, you're basically... Dead. non-existent you're dead babe <laughs> but um yes i think that's it i did make some notes to make sure that i'd covered everything um and i think we have so yeah that is our video on opening a bank account in portugal so yes that's the end of our video don't forget to like and subscribe comment below if there's anything else you want to find out about coming up over the next few weeks i am putting out a video on the d7 we. apply we We'll be putting out a video on our, applying for our D7. We've just got back from the UK and we applied for our D7 visas while we we're yeah. there, D7. So I'm going to do a video on that. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to do a video on rentals, like finding your rental property and the process All that the we went through. Hard. You should do videos on. And I'm trying. Anything you want to see. Yeah, put yeah, it in the comments, comments and I'm going to try. Put content on it. Um, so, yeah, so finding a rental. I'm also going to do, like, a couple of people commented or sent me a message about house tours and things like that, what you mm -hmm. can afford for certain uh, for a certain amount in certain what areas. Areas, yeah, yeah. So if that's something you're interested in, oh, let I love me know. All that. Can I do all that? Can I do that? Yeah. Can that well, be on my channel? Can I have a channel? And also I'm going to be doing a video on applying for schools as well because I'm in the process of doing that. That's hard. And I may do a video on living with the most annoying person ever because he's really been getting on my nerves. And I'm going to do a video <clears> on how to cope with a nagging wife <laughs> and what you should do to get yourself through that. So therefore, you should know those tips. So you should. Anyway, I think we should wind up the video before <laughs> people know. Hey, thanks that for watching. Anyway, we don't actually and love um, each other anymore. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> right. Issues here, so we'll speak to you. I'm only joking.
Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will be back with you soon. Ciao. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ciao.